Welcome back. Now, our attention spans, they seem to be getting shorter and shorter. And now the gift sharing company, Giphy, is launching a film festival that is catering to just that. In fact, it's offering a $10,000 prize for the best microfilm. It's a movie that must be 18 seconds long or less. Tiffany Vasquez is a spokeswoman for the Giphy Film Festival. She joins us now from New York. Tiffany, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Why launch a film festival for animated GIFs? Well, the GIF format has been around for over 30 years, and now Giphy is more of an entertainment platform at this point. We just got a homepage redesign, and there are something called Giphy Stories on it, and it's a brand new way of really visual storytelling and ways of taking this medium and expanding on the conversation of what GIFs and really just short-form content in general can do. And we encourage all creators to submit to this festival. The grand prize is $10,000 dollars and a five-year membership on Squarespace, which is our lead sponsor. Wow, that's a big prize for our microfilm festival. Now let's bring up an example for audience. This is called Grandma BB by Kyle Sauer, <laughs> uh, described as a GIF comic book about a quote, lovable Boca Raton retiree. Um, does this work? Does, does the medium really have narrative potential? Yeah, I think so. Uh, when film first started, it really was essentially GIFs. Uh, people used to go into Nickelodeon theaters and storefronts in the city and see basically someone um, kissing, someone spitting out a drink, someone um, doing some sort of laugh or emotion. And it was this truncated form of entertainment, but it brought people in. It was compelling. It was entertaining. And I think that this is the same thing for that. We are accepting this um, entertainment that people submitting can really tell stories within 18 seconds because we are at this point where we are having tweets and, and reading a lot of um, short form things and ingesting all of these things that are way more short form. And there's no reason why with Instagram stories, with all of these things that are just a little bit more truncated, they're still not taking away from the entertainment value. In fact, they're adding to it. So we should also be in that conversation. Got it. Now, here's a more experimental entry that's out there. It's called Fridge by Scott Gilber. It's yeah. a surreal, moving still life. Um, is this proof that you can push the boundaries even in such a limited medium? Absolutely. Um, that particular GIF is incredibly artistic. It's stunning to look at. It's compelling. It tells a narrative on its own without actually telling you a narrative, and that's art. So we would love to welcome more submissions like that or like Grandma Vivi. Um, we love all of that. We want to laugh. We want to cry. We want to be scared <laughs> with these um, submissions. All of that's completely welcome. Now, cartoons are also part of the mix, and here's something called Pizza Rex by Nikki Rojo. Uh, Tiffany, would could the next Walt Disney or Hayao Miyazaki be discovered in an animated GIF? Absolutely. I mean, there are so many creators out there who maybe don't have the resources right now to create a full-length animated film, but they do have the resources to create something within 18 seconds, and they have the talent and they have the wherewithal to compel us in those amount of seconds. So they should absolutely be coming to this festival, and the people who will be seeing this content will be the people that can make things happen. And final question for you, because there's a lot of money resting on this. This is a bet. Is it animated GIF? or GIF and why? We uh, take the hard G stance. If you say GIF, that's totally fine with us and you're still <laughs> welcome to submit your work. <laughs> but um, since GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format, yep. we, we do the hard G. Yeah, that's what I do too. Thank you so much. Just wanted to hear yeah. it first, right? And make sure everyone who's listening, <laughs> they know it as well. Tiffany Vasquez of Giphy. I almost got it wrong. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care. <laughs>